and a normal hurricane season, we expect 14 named storms. So we're not even halfway there just yet. So as you mentioned, it's been several weeks since we've had any tropical activity. And Tom's going to show you the latest forecast track on Francine in a moment. That is our sixth storm of the season. Here's a look at the list. The strongest one being barrel. That one made it up to a category five. Ernesto made it up to category two. The next on the list is Gordon. We'd have to make it all the way down to the end storm, Nadine, for an average hurricane season. So we, we've got a ways to go there. And this is good news, folks. It's been relatively quiet so far. So let's take a look around the tropics and see what's going on generally. Here is Tropical Storm Francine. Again, we'll show you the forecast track in a moment, but that's the only storm in the Gulf of Mexico. Another uh, common spot for tropical systems to develop this time of the year is off the southeast coast, and there's nothing going on there. This is the remnants of the front that came through Baltimore a while ago and gave us all this uh, beautiful weather. There's a couple of tropical waves out in the Atlantic. Uh, this one in particular here and this one right here. It doesn't have names yet, but the Hurricane Center thinks that both of those have about a 40% chance of developing into a tropical storm over the next couple of days. We'll keep you posted.